Maven Geofence tutorial. Hey, can I fly your drone? Oops. Do you recognize the situation where friends and family are asking you very politely if they can fly your precious toy? You might even have a child or grandchild that you want to learn how to fly a drone, but you fear that they might crash it. So what if you could box in the airspace, limit the speed, take out all the obstacles, making it 100% safe to fly the drone without the risk of crashing it? This has not been possible before we got the Maven app, a third-party app that introduces virtual geofence. The Maven app works with all SDK supported DJI drones. And I'll be using the Mini 2 for this tutorial. So let's start by generating a new geofence. And we do that by pressing new virtual polygon geofence. What we want to do here is we want to set up a geofence that makes sure that it does not cross over the farm as well as cross over the highway. Let's start by setting the first marker here between the, the next to the road and the freeway. The next one a little bit further down the line. We want to put one out here in the field, so we sort of close off the passage to the farm. I can put another one out here, and I can basically add as many as I want. I can also pinch and zoom the map here. That will make it a little bit easier for me to position those. I can put one over here in the field. Maybe I want to put one over here. Then it kind of screws everything up, so it's really, really convenient that you can just long press on this on the marking here, and then you can move it to the position that you want, somewhere here. Our boundary is sort of crossing the road, and this is not what we want to do. So what we can do now is we can press the plus sign here. We can put that one in, drag that into the field here. So you can take any of these points and you can actually move it to a location where you want. So you can make a very, very complex shape of this geofence that will make sure that the drone keeps within safe boundaries so it doesn't uh, really collide with anything on the path here. So this is sort of my base setup and I can with any of these markings I can simply highlight it by pressing it and then I can launch the gear wheel here and that will allow me to fine adjust the position of the marking. That, let's say that you added a point too much here and you want to take it away that can simply be done by pressing the trash can. So there's some data here that's important to know. The perimeter of uh, the geofence that I just set up is 860 meters. I can press the gear wheel here. And by pressing the first field, I have the option to name my geofence and I will call it something really original as test. Next, I can limit uh, the uh, maximum uh, pitch and roll. I can set the maximum and minimum altitude of my geofence. So right now the drone is when geofence is enabled, allowed to go between 10 and 40 meters. Apart from the altitude, I can also limit the maximum vertical speed as well as uh, the maximum rotation speed of the drone. So once I'm happy with the mission, I close the geofence configurator and then I can save the mission. And if I go back to the list here, you can see my geofence that I just created is here in top of the list. If I press the three dots here on the right, I get the option to delete the geofence. I can export it, but I can actually also duplicate it. So that will allow me to very easily make variations of the same geofence. And again, I can go in here and I can rename it, save it and go back. And you will see now I have my two geofences that are slightly different, test and test two. So now let's get the drone airborne. And as you remember, we put in a limitation that the, the geofence was active between 10 and 40 meters. So now I put this in 15 meters height. Then I press the three dots in the top and then I can enable the geofence. And in this case, we want to use the test. So now I have geofence enabled. So when I'm flying around here now, maybe I get the idea I want to fly to the house over here. You can see it will not let me do this. It will actually slow down the drone when I'm getting towards the edge of uh, my geofence. And if I fly close to it, <laughs> you can see this uh, triangle in front of the drone that will tell you how close you are to the boundary of uh, the geofence and this will indicate that the drone is slowing down. One thing that's really, really nice, if you're starting to get towards the fence here, you can see on this indicator on the left side here that how close you are to the fence and it will actually start to change color the closer that you get to the border and it will slow the drone down until it gets to a complete halt when it's on top of the geofence border. It will not allow you to break through it. And I can also try to test the height. Let's just try and go up. See if we can break the 40 meter top lid that we put here. We cannot, 
max geofence altitude, it says. So we try to go below 10 meters, which was the minimum altitude that we put in. Let's see, no minimum altitude. So <laughs> it's trapped in this layer that we just put in up here. Disable the geofence by hitting the cross, and now it's disabled. What happens if you're outside the geofence uh, when you enable it? Let's just enable test here. See, now we are outside the geofence. You get a warning of that, the geofence. So what you have to do here is you have to disable it and then uh, you need to fly so you are within the geofence uh, perimeter and then enable it. The feature works really, really nice. But the really cool part is that you can actually also use it under the more advanced flight modes like the virtual co-pilot, course and home lock. Put a point of interest on the farm here next to it. So I use the auto rotation and auto tilt to make a good view here. And then if we use the cable cam and I put the cable on top of the freeway here and I start the drone. So I just, I give it full speed here. So now it's filming, it's filming, it's filming and it's uh, closing in. It's trying to reach the other end of the cable that is right now in the middle of the freeway. You can see that the drone is slowing down when it's getting towards the end of the perimeter and slows the drone completely down to a halt. It tries to aim for the end point of the cable, but the geofence prevents it from going there. Change of flight mode on the remote or any other condition triggering return to home will disable geofence. This was an in-depth tutorial of the virtual polygon geofence. This is a sponsored tutorial, but that doesn't take away that this is an awesome feature that's very useful. I know Michele Vagnetti is reading all the comments below the video. He's the solo developer of the Maven app. If you have any suggestions for improving this feature, then let him know. If you missed the video where I went through all the great features that you're getting with the Maven app, I will make sure that you can access it through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.